Greetings, I'm Craig Smizer with 1835 Realty. Welcome to the July 2022 edition of How's the Market in Steiner Ranch. To quote Bob Dylan, the times they are a changing. Let's run through the June stats, then talk about the June market because they are two different things. And be forewarned, this month's video is longer than most. In June, 18 resale homes closed in Steiner Ranch, which was down 38% from June 2021. The median price increased year over year by 46% to $1,120,500. The average price of a home increased 20% to over $1,181,000. The average price per square foot increased by 13% to over $352. The reason these numbers are so high is that in June of 2021, almost two-thirds of the homes that sold were in neighborhoods that are at or below the midpoint of Steiner. Yet in 2022, fewer than half were in that lower range. So that makes the almost 50% jump higher than what it really is and not a perfect measure of the market over the past year. That's one reason I like to look at a longer time frame, so we can get a smoother picture. Looking at the first six months of 2022, the number of resale homes sold is 100, down 32% from the first half of last year. The median price of a home has increased 38% to $1,093,000. The average price increased by 25% to over $1,180,000. And the average price per square foot increased 25% to over $352. Now, I think these six-month numbers are a good measure of what I see in the marketplace. But last month, I said I expected we would start to see prices coming down a bit. Because of the lag from contract to close to reporting the sales figures, we don't yet see it statistically. However, with what I saw in June, I'm convinced that prices are declining already. Let me share some more data with you to back that up. The number of available resale homes at the end of June was 49, up from 19 last June. But more importantly, that was up about 150% month over month because we had 20 homes available at the end of May. There were more homes available at the end of June than at any time since September 2019. The inventory that we were all hoping for during the past two years, well, it's finally arrived. In fact, 49 new listings hit the market in June, an increase of 44% over last June. And in fact, to find a comparable number of new listings in a month, we've got to go back to the 48 that we had hit the market in May of 2019. While more inventory would have been welcome in the past couple of years, the problem is that the buyers have fallen off dramatically. In June, just 13 homes went under contract, when normally it would be two to three times that many. With the imbalance of supply and demand having quickly inverted, a decline in prices is inevitable. We didn't see it this month, and I think it will be close as to whether or not we see it in the July sales figures, but we will see it soon. The average sales price to list price ratio was 103.6%, and for homes that closed in June, the average days on market was nine, up from seven last year. Across Steiner, the June sales ranged from a low of $660,000 to a high of over $2,043,000. All of these are still pretty much what we've experienced over the past couple of years, but I expect to see the list price ratio to drop under 100% probably next month. And days on the market, well, they're gonna probably double and increase a while longer. Now, one statistic that I don't think I've ever reported in the almost 12 years I've been doing these monthly videos is the number of price reductions. But this month, I want to mention it to drive home how the supply and demand is changing. During June, there were 39 price reductions on homes in Steiner Ranch. Compare that with just seven in June of 2021. That's a five-fold increase. And even if we just compare to the prior month of May, there were 12 then. So this in June is more than a threefold increase, and that's in just one month's time frame. So again, I expect that lower prices are coming. 
So while this sounds like a lot of doom and gloom, I want to pull back and look at the big picture. The market we experienced over the past two years was simply unsustainable. Our market was due for a slowdown, though I am concerned with how fast it has slowed. Slowed. As I speak with other agents around the country, which I do in a formal setting every two weeks, only a few markets are not slowing down. However, none has slowed as much as the overall Austin market. Obviously, the interest rate hikes have reduced the buying power of buyers. And as prices begin to come down, buyers who don't have to buy immediately are understandably wanting to hold off a bit to see just how far down the prices may come. It's incredibly difficult to time the market, but I completely understand waiting a few months in our current environment to see how the inflation numbers look, how the Federal Reserve responds to those inflation numbers, whether or not we're already in a recession, and what the prices are gonna do in the short term. In the long and medium term, I expect the Steiner real estate market to do quite well. The question mark is this short term that we're currently in. How much will prices pull back and how long will this short term last? There are always buyers who need to buy, and there are great homes on the market right now. But unlike in the recent past, even the great homes can take a while to sell. So that's the way we sit, the good, the bad, and the ugly. If you have any real estate related questions, please don't hesitate to call or text me at 512-650-7300 or email me at craig at realestateinaustin.com. Thanks for watching. How's the market in Steiner Ranch?